So 7, 8, and 9 kind of have the same kind of theory here, that either the absolute value could equal the positive, which wouldn't change any signs, or the negative, which means you'd have the opposite. So when you do your two cases, you're going to leave one side the same both times. The other side, once you'll leave it the same, the other time you do the opposite. So I would first of all say either the 2u plus 6 could equal 5u plus 9, leaving everything exactly the same as it was, just dropping the absolute values. On my other case, one side you're going to leave the same, the other side you're going to do the opposite. doesn't really matter which way you do it. I usually leave the left side alone and do the opposite of the right side. So I would say 2u plus 6 would equal the opposite of both of those, so negative 5u minus 9. And then, of course, I solve those like I solve every other equation. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract my 5u to move it over and subtract my 6 to move that to the opposite side. So 2 minus 5 gives me negative 3u. 9 minus 6 is 3. And when I divide, negative 1 is my, one of my answers. Now, sometimes we will get fraction answers, and sometimes we'll get ones that don't work out. But in this case, I've got one answer doing the other one. I am going to add my 5u and subtract my 6. So 7u equals negative 15. Here I've got a fraction. And so negative 15 sevenths is going to be my second answer. So negative 1, positive 15 sevenths. So in these ones where you have absolute values on both sides, you're always going to do two cases, they'll call them, two separate problems to solve. So number eight, again, my first problem, just the exact same problem without the absolute values. So negative 4v minus 5 equals negative 7v plus 5. My other problem, I'm going to leave the left side the same. So negative 4v minus 5. I'm going to do the opposite of the right side. So what should I have on the right side? positive 7v and a negative 5, right? Change both of those two sides. So, solving that, I am going to go ahead and add my 7v and add my 5 and I would get three v equals 3v equals 10, which means v equals 10 thirds, right? On my other one, I'm going to subtract my 7v and add my 5, so I would get 0, right? And 0 divided by negative 11 is still 0. So 10 thirds and 0 would be my two answers for that. So number 9, if I'm going to write down my two equations, my first equation would be x minus 7 equals negative 2x plus 3. My second equation would be 2x minus 3, right? So 2x minus 7 equals a positive 2x and a minus 3. So solving my first one, I'm going to add my 2x and add my 7, and so I get 4x equals 10, and so when I divide by 4 and simplify my answer, x is going to equal 5 over 2. On my second one, I'm going to minus my 2x and add my 7, and what am I going to get? Zero. 
equals 4. 0x equals 4. And what happens when you do 4 divided by 0? It's not 0. It's a math error. It's undefined. So in other words, this would give you a no solution. So in this case, instead of getting two answers, you're just going to have the one answer. You'll just enter in the five halves that we got in the first problem. So that will happen on occasion where you have one where you get zero x's and get something that's undefined.